If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering which Raheem Sterling should I complete, the versus fire one or the versus ice one. So in today's video, we'll have a look at both of them, compare them side by side, and I'll give you different circumstances and considering which circumstance you're in, what type of player you need, I'll give my overall recommendation on which one I think is best. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to mmoexp.com and use code DAVIS at checkout for 5% off your order. So they are both coming in at the exact same price, an 84, um, an 85, is it 386s and 287s, so by no means it's not cheap, if I had to guess I'd say around half a million coins. Now if we take a look at the fire version of Raheem Sterling first, he has got high medium work rates which is nice, 5.7 obviously, it's not like he'll be any taller on his different card, 4 star skill moves with a 5 star weak foot, I like that a lot, I'd assume his, his ice one will be 5 star skills and a 4 star weak foot, uh, pace is really good, shooting is nice, passing is, I mean, I mean solid, dribbling wise, I mean only 89 dribbling but 98 agility and 97 balance, his left stick dribbling will feel a lot higher than 89, but only thing I can see leading it down in the dribbling category is the 81 composure, physical wise is really good, uh, play styles, he's got the chip shot, power shot play style plus, rapid, first touch and acrobatic. Some solid play styles, I would have much rather to finesse, the power shot play style plus really isn't great this year. It's still a lot quicker than a normal power shot, but by the time you charge it up, it gives your opponent plenty of time to go and close you down, get that tackle through and make it really hard the score essentially. Now having another look at the ice card, or having a look at the ice card I should say, yeah, five star skills with a four star weak for exact same work rates, shock horror as he's the same height. I should actually look at alt positions on the fire, left mid, right wing striker, right, and right wing, right mid, left mid cam, okay, so different alt positions as well. Uh, the pace is nice, the shooting obviously isn't as good, the passing is very similar, they're both 82 passing, they're both 82 passing, uh, but the dribbling, they've made so I say a lot better, it's, it's a plus three, but if you actually compare it right, I mean, he's got like what, plus three more ball control, but other than that, I mean plus four more composure I suppose, but the agility and balance, it is literally 98 and 97, there's 99 and 97. Physicals are the exact same playstyles, no shooting playstyles, so if I kind of saying this card is more of a, a winger or a central cam if you will, the other one is more of a striker. Technical, rapid, flair, trickster plus. Okay, my first impressions, I'd prefer the, the, the fire one. I'm not going to stall it. My first impressions, I like the fire one more. If we're comparing them side by side, and the reason I think the fire one is a better option is because when you're looking at the ice one, they have decided, obviously, the fire one's got a lot better shooting, the ice one's got a lot less shooting, but they have given the ice one better dribbling than the fire one but the thing is the difference between the fire and the ice is shooting is seven plus seven shooting on the fire the difference between the fire and the ice dribbling is only plus three so already it makes more sense to, to go for the fire one in fact as you can see the total stats 474 versus 470 in game more in game stats as well obviously now the thing is right as well but the thing that just puts me off of the ice one is the the plus three dribbling boost i mean plus one agility didn't even upgrade the balance plus one reactions plus three ball control fair enough plus four dribbling fair enough plus four composure fair enough but i mean you've got plus ones i mean the balance stayed the same i think that the plus four composure is nice but other than that i am struggling to see in, in what world the ice one would be the better value I feel like even if you're going to be playing the card as a as a central cam or as a winger, you'd probably still rather the fire one. I think EA have really not fought through the, the, the dribbling upgrade. I feel like if they upgraded the pace, sorry, but the passing and maybe like a little bit of the physical and left the dribbling as it is at the exact same as the fire, it'd be a lot more fair and well balanced. So, I mean, I think you guys know which one I think is better. And for me, I'm going to be saying that the fire one is the better value. Five star weak foot as well is really nice. Look, I mean, obviously this one's got five star skills and it does have a trickster play style plus, which if you know how to use a trickster, it's going to be really nice. I, I think the only case you'd consider the ice one is if you are a skiller. If you love trickster play style plus, if you're a skiller. If not, I, I feel like a striker, you can play him as a striker, obviously. A striker... Raheem Sterling, fire. It's going to be incredible. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.